hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Ege and this is fictional haven and so today we are going to so recently I went to a bookstore or rather on my way home from work I saw a bookstore doing its sales in Benin City and I decided to stop and see what they had I would like to see about the bookstore it was actually okay I was actually really surprised to see a bookstore in Benin City because just for a bit of context where I live in Benin City, Nigeria, we don't usually do bookstores that have like fiction books. It's mostly non-fiction, school books, stationery. I don't, we don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever run into an actual book. So maybe you can see like a canopy with somebody selling books on the side or something, but not like a an actual bookstore. So I wanted to see what these people had, and they had some books, but it was mostly classics so i guess if you're a fan of classics you have a good time there but it was mostly classics by white authors you know william shakespeare there was war and peace there was william shakespeare and i don't know you, you know the classics you see a lot of them there and then there were also classics by black authors so i saw a few and then there was a lot of non-fiction a lot of educational academic books there also but at least we had some uh, fictional books and then for the fictional books I didn't really find what I was looking for but there was a lot of thrillers but mostly thrillers by John Grisham there's this other fellow James Patterson so I guess if you're a fan of those authors you will also have a lovely time at this shop and then there are some other books too but these were like really old secondhand books like really old like books that are written around let's just say 2001 between 2000 like 1990s and 2005 yeah those are the types of books you see there but i still got my hands on some books so i'm happy so anyway so i will not talk too much let's just go straight to the vlog <laughs> We started off ready and Daphne. So good that it felt like a trap to me. The girl in my dream like a fantasy. But we've been caught out in reality. We reached the pinnacle of apathy. It must have been a victim of gravity. Because it declined so rapidly. I thought she was just like a masterpiece. Cause you all I see in my gallery. I should have had a better strategy. Cause I was falling for you naturally. But you've been plotting on me actually. You left me with nothing but agony. I stuck by your side so happily. We treated each other like drugs. Now I do not know what is happening. They tried to warn me it was bad for me. But I just brushed it off so casually. I put all my trust in the love. And I became another casualty. Coincidentally, you got in my back and then you attacked. I never thought you was my enemy. It wasn't always like that. I remember the days when your voice was a symphony. Music to my ears. I would wipe your face when you would cry tears and then try to protect you from your fears. I was doing all of that for four years. Talking light years, not sure years. Shawty stressed me out. I need more beers. Tried to carry through like a warrior, but that wasn't enough. We went through the rough and the tough together, but tough was my luck. It got to the point I was just trying to keep my head up. Stuck in the rut. Cause the woman that I love would rather be cuffed to a bottle of rum. Uh, and I was a sucker like dumb, dumb. I could never tell her, uh, uh. If she wanted money, she got some. I wanted some, I got none. Always be playing the victim. So it was time that I run. Our love was insanity. Consisted of tragedy. Was almost a family, but you aborted it. Infant mortality. On top of that, you barely opened your mouth unless it was profanity. Always saying I was full of shit, but all you wanna do is crap on me. Always trying to keep the peace, but I swear it's like you like calamity. Always telling me you love me, but I'm an innocent bystander to all your apathy. Stuck a knife through my heart, cut it out of me. Got an attitude, but her at me. Belly rattle me when they be at me. Doing all of that for four years, talking light years, not sure years. Shorty stressed me out, I need more beers. 
Tried to carry through like a warrior, but that wasn't enough We went through the rough and the tough together, but tough was my luck It got to the point I was just trying to keep my head up Stuck in the rut, cause the woman that I love Would rather be cuffed to a bottle of rum uh, And I was a sucker like dumb, dumb I could never tell her, uh, uh End of my work like a dynamite stick And I really think I'm about to blow on this bitch I was daddy and poppy and baby and shit Now I never wanna see her face in my crib again And I got a total of nine books from this book tour. I bought three and I bought six and got three free. And so for the very first books, first two books I got were Hard Eight and Big Ten by Janet Ivanovich. I actually have a collection. Like since secondary school, I've been trying to get all the books in the Stephanie Plum novel series. And I think with these two, I have six now in my collection i'm trying to see how many i can get in Benin city in, in nigeria and so far i have six of these books and hopefully in the future i can get more i believe there are more than 20 something books in this series so i want to see how many i can get in nigeria from thrift stores in nigeria and i have to to add to my collection and then the next book i got i got this for free is just above my head by james baldwin and i honestly don't know what this is about i just picked this up after buying my six books they, they were doing a promo at the bookstore where you can you get one book for every two book you get by you get one book free so i just picked this up because of the name um interested in this uh, author i first heard about this author last year i it was one of the book clubs on youtube they were having a read along for another of these authors' books, and I just kind of got interested in the author, so I wanted to read uh, read something from this author. And when I saw this book by this name, I was just like, "Oh, why not?" So I got just above my head by James Baldwin. And then the next book, I think I also got the next book we have is another book I got for free, and this is Dune: The Butlerian Jihad by. Um, Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. And honestly, to be very honest, if you first of all, if you can hear music, I live close to a church. So bear with me. They are having a service. Bear with me. I'm really sorry. But I got this book because of the name. Like I saw June and I just picked it up. And then when I got home, I was researching about it and found out that I believe this is like the 13th book in the series. So yeah. Kind of, I, I did not, I know I got it for free, but it still felt like a waste of money. Well, anyway, maybe whenever I get to the 13th, if I find a way to read the first 12 books, whenever that is, I will read this one. Or if I feel like it may never happen, I will give it to somebody that wants it. And then the next book I have is I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. Okay, so I was so so happy to get this really old. It's a really old copy, but I was really happy to get this book by this author because I love 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 Maya Angelou, and I've always wanted to read this book. But I heard that it's like a memoir, and there are more books 
in the series and yeah anyway at least i have the first book now so if i finish this one i guess i will look, start looking for the rest the other books in the series but for now i have the first book i know why the kid read things so whenever i read this i will start looking for the others but i really really like the this copy that i got i just i just really like it so i bought it and it's really small it's really really small so it can't even like it will not align with the other books but what can one do and then the next book i also got this for free this is the last book i got for free and this is skin folk by nalu hopkins i recognize the name of this author and i was just like why not the, and the cover looks really nice and it was for free so i just i was just like why not why not take it i have no idea what this is about like i do not know i'm not even going to pretend like i know but this is a book by a caribbean author i believe and whenever i read this i guess we'll find out what it's about but i don't know when i'm going to read this but sometime in the foreseeable future i'll probably read this and then the next one i got was their Eyes Were Watching God by Nuzora Neil Hurston and I actually found three different copies, like three different covers, versions of this book and I think this is the one I like best out of the three covers but I was so excited because I've always wanted to read books by this author so I was really happy to get this and I don't know when I'll read it but I believe, is this not non-fiction? If this is non, I'm not sure this is a non-fiction but if it is then I'll probably read this in November during non-fiction November but if it's not then I don't know when I'll read it but at some point in the future and I believe this is a classic is this not a classic I'm not sure I don't know I don't know mixed news about what is a classic and what is not the next we have is the joys of motherhood by Buchi Imiteta I actually have zero reason for buying this book I just bought it because I know the name that this book is quite popular. I believe this is a classic. I want to believe that this book is an actual classic, an African classic. I want to believe so, so bad. If it's not a classic, then it's a, it's a historical fiction. But I know the name. I recognize the title. So I, I see this book almost everywhere. And I, I, I wanted, I, I wanted, I, I want it. I had the money. It was cheap. I'm sorry. And then the final book I got is Ghana Must Go by Taye Salesi. Uh, I believe this book is by a Ghanaian author. Yes, she's Ghanaian. And I don't know what it's about. I just, I found this is like, I don't know. This book was like, normally for thrift stores, that I see online, this book would have been like one five, but it was seven hundred naira. Seven hundred naira. That was really cheap, really really cheap. And I just, I had money. It was cheap. I read this book, please. Let me know what you think about it. I don't know what it's about. I just bought it because it was really cheap. Yeah, I bought it because it was really cheap. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. I've never seen any review about this book before. So I don't know what the people feel about it, but I bought it. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for my haul and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time.